The moon is falling towards Earth. Hey, curious kids. Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about orbits. What does orbit mean? Well, very simply put, an orbit is the path an object follows around another object. An object in orbit is called a satellite. And there are two kinds of satellites, natural, like our moon, and then artificial, like the International Space Station, or ISS, right here, which is the largest artificial satellite. Smaller or lighter objects always orbit the heavier ones. The moon orbits the Earth, Earth orbits the sun, but why? Well, it's because of gravity. Heavier objects have more gravity, and gravitational pull is one of the two ingredients needed for orbit. Reminder that gravity is a force, a natural pull of objects toward each other. The other ingredient for orbit is speed and direction, or velocity. If an object is moving too fast, it'll just pass on by and not go into orbit. If an object is traveling too slow, it'll get pulled in and crash. So for orbit, we need a balance of gravitational pull and velocity. What this means is that objects at orbit, like the moon, are always falling towards the orbiting object like the Earth, but they are moving fast enough so that they don't hit it. So we can breathe a sigh of relief. The moon is falling, but it won't hit Earth. Let's take a look at an artificial satellite, the ISS, for example. It orbits at about 400 kilometers or 250 miles high. This means it has to go about 28,000 kilometers per hour or 17,500 miles per hour to stay in orbit rather than fly away or crash down. And the higher you go up, the lower the velocity is to be in orbit. So the higher you are, the slower you can go. Did you know? Did you know that? That our galaxy orbits a black hole? Yeah, the Milky Way galaxy goes around a black hole. As a quick refresh, a galaxy is a group of stars, gas, and dust held together by gravity. And a black hole is an object with the strongest gravity, so strong that not even light can escape which is why we call it black. But don't worry, again, we're in no danger of getting sucked in. It's 27,000 light years away, which is 270,000 trillion kilometers away. All right, bring it back to our solar system. All of the planets orbit the sun because the sun has the most gravity. It is 1,000 times heavier than Jupiter, our biggest planet. The shape of the planet's orbits are nearly circles. They're very close but they're ellipses or ovals, and they all orbit on the same plane or the same level. This is called the ecliptic plane. However, our old buddy Pluto, yeah, the dwarf planet, does not be in a rebel. The orbit is slanted or tilted. Sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower than the other planets. And sometimes it even crosses Neptune's orbit and is closer to the sun. So some orbits out there are uh, just plain weird. Now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of which of the following doesn't have rings is A, Mercury. This week's question is, what is the only planet to spin on its side? Is it A, Venus, B, Mars, C, Uranus, or D, Neptune? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious. Hold up, you're not done yet. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and if you're not subscribed yet, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, I'd like to thank all of our future supporters on Patreon. You can become a member and support A Place Called Space for as little as 25 cents a video. It's just a quarter. Patreon supporters get shout outs, can submit video ideas, and you'll be able to join me once a month for a live Q&A. Please check out the link below and consider joining our Patreon.